Hey everyone, I'm Thomas Sister 4 here, and today we're going to continue on some more Crash Bash from the Sony PlayStation. Now, we're here to continue onwards with. Uh. Something? Anyway, uh, let's go into El Poco Loco. Actually, before that, let me see. Big Back Fox. See, I could just go for straight for the trophies instead and just not have to worry about the gems or anything moving forward. Like, I could try skipping the Crystal Challenge for Embolism, but, uh... Nah. I'm pretty sure there's definitely worse than this, so... But yeah, let's get looking forward into uh, meeting an old friend of ours, because he's part of the main portion of this game. So now we have to encircle the areas with our color with no corner where we can export it like we did with the last Warp Rooms version of this Poco's level. Poco Pandemonium. Now you have special crates which you will need to do, which you'll need to hit in order to, you know, turn them into points like we have been doing so far. So all you gotta do is just move around and stuff to color it, square up missiles, collect the shoes. Remember the shoes, the shoes, the shoes, and you will need to hit the special crates in order to turn those squares into points. But while this is happening, for some reason the game doesn't tell you this, but while this is happening, and like our good old friend here, Ripperu, in the background will just start throwing out TNTs. They hit about just like in the just like in Crash 2. No, yeah, Crash 2. Just like in Crash 2, they tend to hit like a whole area around the like the square of the contained TNT. And there's another version of this in the Crystal Challenge where we'll have to be very careful in how we tread because uh Nitros, unlike in C I, I was say CTR, unlike in Crash 2, where you know when the C or the Nitros go off just by simply like having Ripperu jump here, the second they're laid down, there's a good there's a good amount of there's like a small amount of time you have to get away from the Nitros before Nitros raise before it goes off. And if you're not away, you lose the challenge. So be very careful with treading around here. As you might expect, but and I, I'm not you know I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try driving this point down because like you guys already you guys got the general gist of things now like all you gotta do is just collect the shoes. Sometimes Ripper will just drop nothing. He'll just you know tread by and see who's around. You know just just try to be that na that neighborly freaking psychotic uh, little frill like I don't know what you call him. What now the thing is with the name being Ripper I'm normally. Immediately thinking of maybe Jack the Ripper, but I think that might be a little too far for a character like this because it's obviously uh, He's clearly more of a freaking Like a kangaroo with this case and not in a psychotic way But I don't know where the Ripper the Ripper part comes from if it's not by like Jack the Ripper because The fact that he's held with like those bandages that you will use for like people that are psychologically uh, Unstable is a uh, It's definitely not something you would just consider sane and they painfully highlight this in both the insane trilogy and the original game of Crash Bandicoot where they show off just like How much he just can't really contain himself at times, so What's funny though, I do find I will say this I definitely find the little intro to the boss in Crash 2 like OG Crash 2 funnier than it is in like Insane Trilogy, because like, Insane Trilogy just like, oh, okay, I'm reading a book. Oh, shoot, Crash is here. But, oh, you will love these. These don't pop up often, but, you know. They'll be able to spread across like all four areas, which is nice. But, uh, like I was saying, like, in OG, he's reading a book, but if he sees you, oh yeah, this is also something that's rare. For whatever reason, Ripper will just say, you know what? I don't like your face. So I'm just gonna show you. Yeah, I'm not. not I'm not. I might not win this round simply because I thought I failed to follow the one most important rule, which is always to get the shoes. Yeah. Well, that's okay, cause we still got more rounds to play. But yeah, like in OG Crash 2, he's reading a book, but he gets so, but he gets really mad when he sees you. It's like, whoa, what, what the heck did I do? All I did was just try to make sure I collect crystals. You, know, you don't have to get all crazy at me about this. 
or crazier. Ah, oh, god dang it, Tiny. At least put the freaking shoes to good use. Yeah, I'm kind of getting some bad luck with this run. Like, a lot of shoes I'm, are just spawning very far away from me, and I just can't seem to catch a break with this so far. Like, I can get missiles, and even the crates, no problem, but shoes? Oh, heck no. Oh, shoot, I can't move. Alright. Get out the way, Tiny. Oh my god, I couldn't even really use this because of the freaking... Oh my gosh. More shoes! Let's go. Ah. Oh yeah, and this goes without this should go without saying at this point, but if you get hit by anything, missile, TNT, anything, you just you just lose your shoes. And no one likes losing their shoes. God dang it, Coco. Uh Okay, I got this one in the bag, but this one's just okay. But yeah. That's just how I'm feeling about Ripperu in this game, like in the Crash Bandicoot series. Now, if Ripperu shows up in Crash 4, I would freaking love to see what the designs they'll go, uh, uh the artists, like the artist teams for uh, Toys for Wild will go for with, the, with him, because, uh, I'd imagine it'd be something like really freaking snazzy with all the costumes he's had in CTR, as well as just in general. God dang it. Uh, but, uh, yeah, stuff like this is just the stuff I like talking about when it comes to, uh, like, cra playing some Crash Bandicoot games. Like, just seeing what, uh, future, how future games will implement, like, certain characters. And Crash 4 will not be an exception in this case, because it's almost here. A few more months, but we'll, it'll be, yes, no. well, yeah, 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 in a few more months. Uh, I don't know why Ripperu sometimes drops the arrows. Like, I'm appreciated, but, like, very much. But, they just don't really go anywhere, you know? Like, Because like, a lot of the times, if you have like a TNT place, that tile that's colored up will go away. Alright, that was kind of lucky with everyone getting hit by that. Now, can I get some shoes and be really lucky? Doesn't look like it. But that's okay. Because we're pretty much done with this unless Coco gets a really big score at the last second. And I'm not... I am not gonna chance that. Frick! Alright, we're done. Huh. But yeah. This one wasn't, like, crazy other than, like, the music and just entropy, uh, entropy, Ripperoo in general. This one isn't really too crazy. Like, considering all, th you know, all things considered. Okay, we have over 40 points and disadvantage. And it's possible to make this up if you get a good couple of circles going on. Like, if you get some good circles, you could, like, be able to make this score up. But, seriously, 40 points. You think maybe 30 would... Wait, what did I even get hit by? Ah. Uh. Okay, that I know what I get hit by, but it's like, oh my gosh. Like, 40 points isn't that- Yo, 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 no, no. Ah, he got the shoes too. No, no. Oh my god, he had enough time to circle around me and everything. And Tiny only has 19 more. Yeah, that, that, this one's a wrap. Uh, okay, 14, that's not bad. But all Tiny needs now is just scoring in general. Get that crate! Get that crate! There we go. There's another crate. No! He found another one, didn't he? Yep. And I was down to 16, too. That was actually a pretty impressive run so far. Not a good, not a successful attempt, but it was a good run. It's possible if you're fast, fast and invasive enough to get, like, some of the... Like, some of the arrows as well as some of the circles. That it'd be possible to just get through this, but right now, uh, it's not looking so. And... Okay. So, Dingo Doll needs 13 more. Oh, gosh. 
Get that crate. I gotta get the other crate over there. Okay. Get it. Get it. Okay. Okay, this is still possible. This is a very possible run. Uh, come on! No! You I had two more! <laughs> oh my god. Move! Oh my god. Two opportunities to get a crate and I couldn't get either one. What? Oh my freaking god. Okay, not bad. Choose? Oh, I'm not gonna get that. God dang it. Uh, get out the way, Dingo. Nice. Now if I just secure the points, of course he's not going to let me. 18. And shoes. Okay, 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 okay. Let me circle this real quick with some shoes. And a crate. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Where did Coco get all that? All right, more shoes. Make sure they don't get the shoes. Okay, just 14 more. Uh, just four more. There's a crate. Yes. Oh, my God. Uh. Man, my hands are getting sore already. It's crazy. You think with a good amount of with a good amount of exercise and stretching that you wouldn't have to worry too much about, like, potentially straining your hands with doing these parts. But, uh... Especially if you're playing with the D-pad, it's still a bit of a challenge on you. Just a bit. And, um... Yeah, just a bit. And yes, this is the part I was talking about earlier. So now we have to make sure we get the highest amount possible. And now we have to worry about, uh... Ripper Roo here coming in here with nitros. And no. This, this isn't like a, oh, sometimes it'll be nitro, sometimes it'll be CNTs. It's all nitro. I'm dead. It's all nitros from here. And I actually like how they added the little alien sign from Crash Bandicoot Warped. Anyone who's seen my playthrough of that will know what this, uh, this entails. But yeah, there's like a set timer for when, uh, nitros go off. And the radius is still just as big as the, uh, freaking... One thing I just don't like about this though is that and that Ripper Roo goes so far out of your way. If he's near you, he'll go out of your way, out of his way, just to make sure you get nitros. Look at that! Look at that! If I wasn't, if I didn't react in time, I would have been. I would have just walked straight into the nitros and lost the challenge again. It's just like why, why, why me specifically? Like, it's one thing that I have to make sure I don't fail the challenge. But the idea that he goes so far out of his way to make sure I get hit when I chose, it's like you have to know when it's going to happen. And a lot of times he could jump like six feet away from you and it'll just land. Like, look at that, look at that. When anyone else is around, nothing. But around me, oh no. Oh, let me just uh, take a detour and just drop some nitros here, sorry. I'm sure you'll be fine. I don't know how I would feel about uh, Ripper talking in English. Like, that, that's just a random thought I had, because, like, in the Japanese version of CTR, he does speak. Not in a very sensical more form, but he speaks. But, uh, I mean, it's sensical in the sense you can under actually understand them, but not anything else, really. Because, like, when he, when, he speaks, when he be spitting, it's, uh, it ain't anything great. But, yeah, we're done with this crystal challenge. It, it's not too hard if you know where Ripper Roo is at. That's, pr that's pretty much my only general tip I have for this course here. If you know where Ripper Roo is, whether it be the crystal gem or trophy, as long as you know where he's at, going through that will not be a problem. At all. But it was something I was having a bit of an issue with because I've been so focused on getting shoes. Anyway, uh, it's time for embolism. I'm still thinking about whether or not I just want to skip the crystal challenge because one, I don't need it right now because it's not like I'm it's not like I'm really sure if I still want to do 200% on this game. And second, uh, I don't even really need the gem either. I just need the trophy and I can just proceed with the boss. But uh, 
I'll I'll think of whatever I'll I'll think of whatever I need to do with this part here. So is that Tosis for now? Thank you guys for watching. Uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more Crash Bash content, as well as hitting up my Twitter for more Crash Bandicoot news. Up until Crash Bandicoot 4, it's about time. But yeah, until then, whenever I do the side on, see ya.